Hello guys and welcome back to another video. I'm True American Patriot and in this video we'll be discussing how President Biden is in big trouble in the state of Pennsylvania. So back in 2020, President Biden won the state of Pennsylvania by 1.2%, which is equivalent to about the 60 to 70,000 votes, which, is, which was a pretty good margin considering Donald Trump only won it in the low 30s, high 20s. So we had a net shift of 1.9% as Donald Trump won it by 0.7% back in 2016. Now, where President Biden did well in was Eastern Pennsylvania near Scranton, where he is from. So when you're from there, you're usually going to do better in those areas. But in this election, it does not look like he is going to do well in the state of Pennsylvania. Looking at current polling, what president, excuse me, with Robert F. Kennedy Jr. on the ballot, Donald Trump needs by 2.1%. Donald Trump has 43.1%. Biden has 41%. Kennedy has 8.7%. Now, <clears throat> with just a Trump versus Biden ballot, and the RCP have is Donald Trump needs with by 2.3%, with 47.8% to 45.5% in the combination of polls. But what strikes me here is that Trump is up in every single poll except this Fox News poll where they are t where Biden and Trump are tied. So, but in the past month, none of the most recent polling has showed Joe Biden needing in Pennsylvania. Now, is the polling always correct? No, but when you have every single poll showing someone's gonna win, it's really, in favor of Donald Trump. Now, we're put, this is where President Biden's in big trouble. On the economy, he has a 40% approval rating and a 58.3% disapproval rating with a net spread of negative 18.5%. Donald Trump had a 70% approval rating on the economy before COVID. And he more than he would have easily won in 2020, if not for COVID. And that's how Biden was enacted. Foreign policy, it gets even worse. 35.5% approval with 60.3% disapproval with a net spread of 24.8%. Immigration somehow gets worse. 33.4% approval with 62.8% disapproval because of the southern border. Inflation, 34.8% approve, 63.0% disapprove, net gain of negative 28.2%. And <clears throat> it's going to be very interesting to see what these inflation reports are going to be in the coming months. Because if it shows that inflation will continue to swell, then President Biden's going to do better with inflation. But still, many people are getting hurt. And inflation slowing down isn't helping the average American as inflation is, even though it's slowing down, it's still, we're still seeing price increases. So we need people to make more money from their jobs and real wages is not going as high as much as inflation is. And that's why people were better off four years ago than they are today. And that's the card that Trump has to play. <clears throat> If Biden's approval on crime, 39.3%, disapproval is 55.0%, net spread of negative 15.7%. Now, the handling of the ongoing war between Israel and Palestine, 32% approve, 63% disapprove. Excuse me, 32.6% approve, 60.9% percent disapprove net spread of 30 so this is definitely Biden's worst category as we are starting to see more social unrest on college campuses even though colleges usually is now out but during the commencement speeches we've seen people walking out disruptions and it's, it's going to be very interesting to see if it pours out into the streets like the Black Lives Matter movement did back in 2020 and President Biden's approval handling on the Russia and Ukraine, 
40.7% approve, 54 disapprove, net spread of 13.3%. So, Biden is down in every single category. And it's just not good for him. And his this is his job. Job approval. 39.9% approve. 56.3% disapprove. Net spread of negative 16.4%. That is not good. At this time, Trump is at 43.8. Trump lost. Obama is at 50, excuse me, 48.2. He won. Re-induction. Bush 45.5, he won. So Biden has to get over that Trump, theoretically Biden has to get over that Trump number in his approval rating for him to have a shot of winning the induction. And so all the polling is indicating that President Biden's going to lose. And very much so, this is not where we were. We were way better off four years ago before COVID. Ever since COVID, we've been spending all this money and it's been pumping inflation. Even though the stock market is at record highs, the average American isn't invested in the stock market because they don't have a lot of money. The average American makes $50,000 a year. They don't have money to put and invest in the stock market. They have to feed their families. They got to pay these expenses. And inflation is hurting the everyday American. <clears throat> and where I expect Trump to do well against Biden is Erie County, I expect Trump to flip. Northampton, I expect Trump to flip that county as well. Um, State College, Penn State University, the Penn State, I expect this county to flip. And even though it's a state college, still a pretty tight race, as it seems like Pennsylvania, um, Penn State is the more conservative colleges based off the county. Allentown, Lehigh, possible but unlikely. Monroe, very much possible. And Nakawana, very possible. So these state and Bucks, ha- Trump should win Bucks if he need if Trump wins Bucks, he will win the state of Pennsylvania in twenty twenty four. And this is just very key. For Trump to win. And this is why I think that Biden is in big trouble in Pennsylvania because his margins are so small back in 2020 and his disapproval is so high. So I thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe, share this video with your friends, comment down below on who you think is going to win in 2024 if Biden is going to lose Pennsylvania in 2024. And also comment down below any other video suggestions that you guys have for me, any requests. I'll answer, and I'll see you guys in the next video.